of God, that our hearts be open to receive. Let us pray. Father God, we come before your presence right now, God. For those of us that did not greet you this morning, my sister uh, brought it to our remembrance yesterday that we should say good morning to you, God. We should say good morning to Jesus. And then we should also greet the Holy Spirit with a good morning. So, Father God, we come before your presence right now saying good morning, God. We come before your presence, God, bringing Pastor Al and Pastor Noel before you. Yes, Lord. Before your face, God. Thank you, Jesus. We ask you, Lord God, that you touch their hearts, their mind, and their body as they begin to pray and teach your word. Yes, Lord. We ask you, God, to regulate their minds, to do the things that you call them to do. Yes, Lord. Father God, we also call on you, God, to touch their hearts, to know, God, that when you have giving them an option to do something, God, that they don't need to consult anyone else. Come on now. Come you on. are the one that's Come giving them the option. Yes. So you're yes. the one to lead them and to guide yes. them into what they yes. should do. Thank so, you. Father God, we come asking you right now, Father, to forgive us if we've stepped out of line. Yes. But, Father God, you said in your word, you will guide and lead Thank us you. in the right direction. Thank you. So, Father God, right now, we lift up Pastor Al. Pastor Noel, yes, Lord. we put them in your hands, God, Thank you, Jesus. that you be a hedge of protection not only yes. around this yes. building, Thank you, Jesus. but also around yes. them, yes. Thank you, that the enemy cannot touch them Hallelujah. in no way, shape, form, or fashion. Yes, so, Father God, this morning we're asking you to just regulate their minds and their hearts. Because we know that they have a heart for the people. Yes, Lord. But, God, we also know that he has a heart for someone else. Yes. And God, we want you to be the first and foremost person in their lives. Yes. That they seek you with every direction, yes. every ministry, yes. everything that they want to do, God. We pray that they seek you first. Yes. Yes. God, you said the things of the world must stay the things of the world. The things that belong to you, God, must come to you. So, Father God, this morning we just thank you for the love that they have for the people. So, Father God, we ask you to cover them. We ask as your words come forth out of their mouth that it be received in which way God will have us to receive it. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen.
So our title today is The Power of Restoration. That's what our theme is for the whole year. And we're almost up with it. So basically, if you haven't been restored, just go through the, all the lessons we've taught all year. Look all the, and it's, it's showing you how you can be restored to, to, to get you to the next level. Amen. Amen. But today, our subject is, why is God's call to pray so important? Yeah. Yeah. Why is God's call to pray so important? Mm -hmm. So let me, let me tell you why. One of the issues is they took prayer out of school. Mm -hmm. right. uh, and you're wondering why prayer is important. Yeah. See what's going on with these kids nowadays? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, right. That's why prayer yeah. is important. Right. Yeah. Why is kids acting up in a home? Remember when we was growing up as kids? What did we do before we left out the house? Pray. Pray. We pray. pray. Yeah. Do we pray now before the kids leave out the house now? Uh, uh, we forgot prayer. Mm. What, uh, the only time that we pray now is before what? We get ready to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the only time we pray is when we want to pray for something to eat. Yeah. Come on. What happened to prayer no matter what? Yeah. yeah. Right. But we want to pray to God to make sure he cleans them food, though, right? Right. <laughs> I remember my dad said he went to Africa or different, different countries. Why is the, the move of God going so strong there? Yeah. Because they don't have no insurance. They have to have, they have to make sure whatever they pray for, they get results from it. Yeah. Here in America, we got accustomed to just in case prayer didn't happen, I got some medical insurance. Uh -huh. I have some life insurance. Yeah. But but you go to other foreign countries, they're praying day and night, 24-7. They go to sleep praying. They wake up praying. That's yeah. all they know. Yeah. And that's why miracles are happening in other countries. Because they live and die prayer. Prayer is no longer a focal point here in this in, in, in America no more. Prayer is secondary. Because now we go based on our five physical senses. As long as I can figure it out or I got money, I can make certain things happen nowadays. Mm -hmm. Prayer is no longer the focal point on how we can get things to happen. Mm -hmm. Dr. Hillier made a quote, don't forget the after. Mm -hmm. The enemy will do everything he can do to get to this nation. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ and you, to a, uh, he, he focused on getting the body of Christ to uh -huh. dis disobey God. Right. He wants everyone to focus on what you're feeling mm -hmm. and dealing with, and now we're at this current moment mm -hmm. in our lives. But hold on to your faith. Yeah. As we stand in the gap in prayer, God is going to do something after Hallelujah. that will blow your mind. Amen. Yeah. That's his quote. And our scripture today is uh, uh, 2 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles mm -hmm. chapter 7. Verses 11 through 12. My wife going to read that. So it says, Thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord and the king's house, and all that came into Solomon's heart to make in the house of the Lord and his own house. He prosperously effected. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night, and he said unto him, I have heard thy prayer mm -hmm. and have chosen this place to myself for a house of sacrifice. Amen. Amen. Then after that, he goes on to say, so now he goes on giving him a warning, thinking, okay, you know, if you choose to be disobedient, this is what's going to happen. Right. And that's the second Chronicles, and we're going to scroll down to uh, verses 13 through 15. And it says, if I shut up heaven that there be no rain, mm -hmm. or if I command the locusts to devour the land, yeah. or if I send pestilence among it, my people, if, if my people, which are called by my name, yeah shall humble themselves and pray yeah, yeah. and seek my face mm -hmm. and turn from their wicked ways. Yes, yes. Then, yeah, then, yeah. then yeah. I will hear from heaven yeah. and will forgive their sins yeah. and will yeah. heal their land. Yeah. Yeah. Now mine eyes shall be open and mine ears shall attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. So he's saying he'll heal our land if we just seek his face. That's That's right. Right. And pray. Just pray Amen. and seek his faith to see what he'll do. We see what's going on. Maybe it ain't going on in your household, but you can walk down the street. I bet you your neighbor's two doors down. If your next door neighbor doesn't have issues going on, God said if we seek his faith, he will heal the land. And guess what? He ain't going it doesn't have to be something where he just blows on it. Yeah. He's gonna heal it through us. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, God is on the inside of us. Yeah. So we can help God heal the land. Yeah. If we just seek his face. Yeah. His face, not what we think is the right thing to do. Because yeah. we might think, oh, yeah, we see our neighbors, you know, maybe, oh, let's just take them for dinner over here, you know, and then they'll be all right. At least they're eating tonight. 
Sometimes they need to get their mind renewed because you can't keep on... What they say, you can't leave the horse to the water. You can lead it to the water, but you can't make them drink it. So if you keep on bringing them stuff and handing them stuff, giving them stuff, not making them learn how to do it themselves, they'll never be healed. So the way to heal the land is to seek God because he's the only one that knows what each and every one of us needs and the people that we want to help need. So if we seek his face, he will give us just the right thing that they need for us to be able to give it to him Amen. on his behalf. Amen. Amen. And God's word has not changed. That's right. He doesn't change his mind. No, he doesn't. Right. He doesn't change his laws. No. He doesn't change his love for us. That's Amen. right. Amen. But if we don't disobey God, mm. we will suffer the consequences. Jesus. We have disobeyed God. Right. And we have committed ourselves into disobeying him by tolerating right. all kinds of sin. Mm. Yeah. That God specifically forbids us to be a part of, of our daily lives. Amen. Amen. <laughs> So, <laughs> so here's the thing. If you want deliverance, you say you want. We all say, oh, God, you know, I just love you so much. I just want to do your will. Are you willing to do what he says? We have That's to do it. it. Do it. <laughs> we can't, we can't, you know what we do a lot of times? We pick what we want to pick and choose. Ah. Okay, let me tell you. Come on, Pat. So I might have judged somebody a couple times in my life about some stuff that they might have been doing. But I was doing my own dirt. But see, that's the thing. We do our dirt. We feel like our little dirt is not as, it's not as bad as what so-and-so did. Right. Mm -hmm. Make it plain. So I'm talking about Sally because Sally's out there doing her thing. She right. on the corner doing her thing, right? But you doing the same thing yeah. Sally doing. Only yeah. difference is you yeah. got to sneak it out the back door at your place. You just yeah. as bad as Sally just Come walking down. the street. Come on. <laughs> you just trying to hide your bitch. Yeah. She's showing her stuff. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm the only one that ever judged somebody for their sin and know I am doing the same thing they do. All the difference is you dumb because you ain't getting paid. Amen. I'm saying. The way I say it, if you lay it down anyway, you might as well get some money. I'm just saying, you might as well pay the bill, give me some money, something. You don't just give up the cupcake for free. But then you talking about Sally and Jim Bob, Jim Bo, his cousin, his uncle. All of them have been through your doorstep, yeah, dark in your doorstep. Yeah. For free. Yeah. Come on, Pastor. Come on, come on. Come on, come on Pastor. Hallelujah. Y'all are going to go I'm just saying, but that's what right. And I'm using it because it's plain. Right. And, and you know, I know it ain't nothing, nobody here. You know, it ain't nobody here. I'm just saying. Y'all <laughs> are <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, but we want to be truthful, so we didn't all mail that female in there, done that. Okay, but talk about the one that's Help out us. there with they stuff. Help us. I'm just saying. Being judgmental. So anyway, if we want to be delivered up with somewhere else, we just need to spend time in prayer. That's it. Don't be to tell us what we need and how to fix ourselves. Amen. And to fix, help, help him fix us. That's right. Amen. Touch other people's hearts on you. Yes. Amen. 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 So you must spend time in prayer. God is calling us to spend time in extensive prayer. Yes. And he's, and he's waiting on you. Amen. Yes. Throughout the time of your prayer, he will guide you to the next phase of your ministry and your life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus spent time in prayer before yes, he started yes. the day. Yes, That's yes. right. Are you at body of Christ? Are you doing that? That's when right. When you wake up, are you spending time in prayer before you do anything? Mm -hmm. And Mark, Mark chapter 1 and verse 35, it says, And in the morning, rising up, yes. a great while before day, mm -hmm. he went out and departed into a solitary place. Yes. Right. And there he prayed. There he prayed. So th that's the thing. If Jesus made, he spent time in prayer before he made major decisions. That's right. So that's the thing. If Jesus did it, we need to be doing the same thing. He was our example on this earth. He's our example in the book that we're supposed to live by. Amen. We do what Jesus did in order to get the results that he got. Amen. 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 So basically, if you think you're going to make the wrong decision about something, if you're if something is unsettling in your spirit, then that means you need to go to God and find out why is it so unsettling in my spirit, right, God? Right. What do I need to do to tweak it or change it or make it right so I will be calm in my spirit? Because if it's unsettling, it ain't right. Amen. Amen. And that's why we can go to God and he can help us make the correct decision. Jesus. Even correct them when we already messed up and made the wrong decision. God can show us how to correct it too. That's right. Amen. 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 So you must expect to be led by the Spirit of God. You must expect it every morning when you wake up. Yes. Expect it. Yes. Romans chapter 8 and verse 14 it says, For yes. as many are as led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Amen. Amen. The sons of God 
God should expect to be led by the Spirit of God daily. Yeah. Daily. Yeah. Come on, come on. Daily. Are you led by the Spirit yeah. of God daily? daily? When you wake up and you go out your car, are you being led? Yeah. Are you telling God to direct your path? Yes. Are you telling God to give when you get to work? Everybody says, hello. I'm glad that you came to work today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Romans chapter 8 and verse 16, it says, The Spirit itself himself bear witness with our spirit that he that we are the children of God. Every Christian has the Spirit of God who is the guide in them. The Holy Spirit is available for every believer. Yes. So are you a believer? Yes. So the Spirit should dwell in you all the days all of your life. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And in John chapter 14, 16 through 18, it reads. And it says, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, yeah. that he Amen. may abide within you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, Thank you. because right. it seeth him not. That's right. See, the world don't understand all that. They be looking at us like, what y'all got going on in here? People come to church and we be praying in the Spirit. They be running out the church. But they don't know what's going on. Because it's because they see him not. Come on. Neither knoweth him, but ye know him. So we know him. Yes. For he dwelleth yes. within you. Yes. Hallelujah. And he shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortable. I will come to you. Amen. Jesus. So he's there. He's in us and he wants us Amen. to want him Amen. to be there. And he's there whenever we're ready. Whenever we're ready. He's just waiting on us to say, you know what? I'm ready. Amen. And in John chapter 14, verse 26. He gave me a lot of words today. He gave me a lot of words. Yeah. In John chapter 14, verse 26, it says, John chapter 14, verse 26, it reads, <laughs> But the Comforter, yeah. which is the Holy Ghost, Hallelujah. whom the Father was sent in my name, he yeah. shall teach you all the things and bring all the things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay, and then more things. So John 14, 25 through 27. Now this is the Amplified. It says, but the Comforter. Comforter means counselor, helper, intercessor, advocate, strengthener, standby. The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. And my place to represent me and act on my behalf. So the comforter is inside must act on behalf of God. Hallelujah. And act on my behalf. He said he will teach you all things. And he will. He will cause you to recall. Meaning it will remind you and bring it to your remembrance. Everything I told you. So everything God ever said to you. Everything that God ever promised you. The Holy Spirit will bring it back to your remembrance. Give us the 
the mental power and the courage yeah. to do whatever yeah. he yeah. needs to do. Yeah. So we don't have to be afraid. He gives us the courage, yeah. courage to have courageous faith yeah. and the mental power to know we can do. Yes. 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 Amen. Not Amen. in our power, but in his yes. power. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he's our guide. Yes. 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 What does a guide do? It leads you in direction. Yes. You ever been on a trip out of the country where they have the tour guide? Yeah. So that's what the Holy Spirit does for us. He guides us. So what is the tour guide's purpose? Their purpose is to show us the city or the town or the country, wherever wherever we are, the attraction. So you don't get lost. Amen. You won't get lost. Then you see the major things that you really need to see. Right. The most important things like the main attractions. Yeah. So that's what the Holy Spirit does yeah. for us. Amen. He guides us so we won't get lost yes. in the world and the things of the world and the things yeah. of our flesh. And he keeps Thank us you, right Lord. with God. Amen. Amen. So we can really walk out the purpose in which he has for yeah. our lives. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And so what we're going to we're going to heave some points mm -hmm. today. But yeah. we're going to come out of the verse of, I mean, of the chapter of 2 Chronicles. Yeah. 2 Chronicles, <laughs> chapter 7, again, mm -hmm. 13 through 15. But we're going to read that again. So when we when we break this down, we're going to break this whole scripture down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we think we're going to get some Lord. good information today on Thank that. Amen. Lord. So Hallelujah. if I shut up heaven, yeah. yes. that there be no rain, mm -hmm. or if I command the locusts to devour the land, mm -hmm. or if I send pestilence, among my people, mm -hmm. if my people will call by my name, shall yes. humble themselves right. and pray right. yeah. and seek my face yeah. and turn from their wicked ways, yeah. then will I appear from heaven and will forgive them Jesus. for their sins yeah. and I will heal their land. Amen. Now my eyes shall be open and yeah. my ears attended, attended unto the prayer that it that yeah. is made in this place. Right. So the we're going to talk about four points today. Yeah, We're yeah. going to humble ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're going to cry out. Yeah. Number three is seek God's face. And we're going to, number point, and our last point is going to be turn from our wicked ways. Amen. 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 So the first point was humble. Stay humble. Mm -hmm. It says to humble yourself. So that means don't depend on your own, what your realization is, your five senses. Just humble yourself and say, you know what, God? I know you're my source. I know you're my source of protection. I know you're my source of strength. And any provision that I need in my life to walk it out with you, I know that you're there for me. I know. Humble yourself. No, it's not us. Know that it's all him. Without him, we can't do anything. That's the first point. Once we know that, once we go into prayer with God, if we go in humbly, then that's when we'll hear what he has to say to us. Because if we go in still trying to figure out how we're going to do it, we're not going to really hear from him because it's still going to be us talking in our own head. Amen. And, point Amen. Number, and our point number two is say a cry out to God. Mm -hmm. Crying out to God is indication to show God that you really need him. That's yeah. right. That you're depending on him to make whatever you have. You know when, how do you say, it? after you all do you, after you done all you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? You know, you know, God, I can't do it no more. I'm tired of this man. Right. I'm just done with this man. Ah. I'm just tired of things in my life. I'm tired of this job. And all you can do is what? Cry. Cry out to God. Because now you ain't got you can't depend on nobody else no more. Right. So you know what, God? I'm just done. You bawling, you crying. Yeah. I'm crying out to you, Father God. Tell me your direction. Tell me your path. Right. I'm just through with it. What's my purpose? What is my will? What is your will for my Amen. life? Amen. Amen. That's what cry out means. Yeah. It also means yeah. so I, I recognize as the body of Christ that we, that you are now, you're in danger. Mm. You're in danger because mm. now you're, you're dealing with the last resort and that's why you're crying out. That's mm. right. And now you're depending on him for everything you need now. And understanding that without him, we're lost. Yeah. Without him, there's nothing that we could possibly do that could top what he could do for us. Nice. So that's what we need to do, too. So when we go in, we need to let him know we realize how serious. Even if we think we're perfect, we still need to let God know that we're not perfect in him. And we need to cry out to him and let him know, fix me in my broken places, even yeah. though I don't see them. Yeah, come on. Even if you think you don't have any, still be humble and cry out to God and tell him, if it is something there and I can't see it myself, I want you to reveal it to me so we can take care of it and clean it all out. Yeah. Because that could be a hindrance to your breakthrough. That could be the hindrance right, to your, right. when we say this is our year of restoration, if you haven't had everything restored that you asked God yeah. to restore this year for you, Hallelujah. you need to look at you. Check it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need to look at you because yeah. God is doing it. He already did it. He already told us he did it. 
So it's not God, it's you. Yeah. It's us. I had listen, I had to come to that same realization myself. Okay? Y'all yeah. know that I'm believing for healing and the devil be trying to get me on yeah. my breathing and all of that. And I'm like, you know what? The devil is a lie. Yeah. I yeah. had to humble myself yeah. and see God's face yeah. and say, there's something that I'm not doing that I need to be doing because I know that I am restored. Yeah. I know that I am healed. Yeah. But what am I doing, God, to, to hinder it? Because yeah. I know you already did it. Yeah. I just need the manifestation to come. It's already there. Yeah. Tell yeah. me what I need to do. Yeah. 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 So that's what we have to do. We have to come to that realization. It's not God because yeah. he lives on the inside of us. So when he's in there, if he's all in there, I shouldn't have no problems. No, right. 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 I shouldn't have these problems. That's right. So it's me, not him. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. so point number one was what? Humble ourselves. ourselves. Number two is Cry out to God. And number three is seek, God seek God. his face. Seek his face. So basically seeking his face means get before him and just pray. Yes. Yeah. Come to the altar. Mm -hmm. Go to your, your private room in your in your room. So yeah. like, remember, that, remember that movie called where, where the woman went to her closet? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go in your yeah. closet yeah. and Very seek God. Yeah. God, what is my purpose that's coming up here for 2020? Mm -hmm. I'm tired of repeating the same old, same old. Oh, yeah. That's yes. I want to be married. God, why am I not married? Mm -hmm. What am I doing? Seek God's face on my head. If that's what that's you choose right. to want to do. Right. God, what is my purpose in ministry? What am I supposed to be doing? Why, why do I exist, God? Yeah. Yeah. Why am I here on earth? Right. I'm doing the same thing I was doing 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the same thing I was doing 20 years ago. Right. Why has my life changed? Right. I'm dealing with the same issue. Mm -hmm. I ain't grown. Mm -hmm. I ain't here. No. Well, what's going on, God? God said, because uh, you yes. ain't my face. You ain't put me first in your life. That's why you're still making the same money. That's why you're still dealing with the same foolishness. Uh -huh. That's why ain't nothing changed in your life. Because you ain't changed. You ain't stuck my face for your life. You're doing things up under your own will and your own intellect. Your way. That's right. Put me first and I'll show you how to make things happen. Seek my face. Same thing, just in your right. own way. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's disobedience. You just with yours. You just bougie you with yours. You got your little sheets off. <laughs> what? I'm saying. Hey, I'm just saying. Speaking. I didn't like that. Hey, come on. Deliberate rebellion towards God is weakness. Yeah. yeah. Where there is greed, pride, and selfishness. What? That's D uh, on, disobedience. Right. Say that. Yeah. And when we turn our eyes the ways away from God, say we're going to live how we want to live. Mm -hmm. well, That's wickedness. Mm -hmm. God, I don't need you right now. Mm -hmm. I'm doing every. I'm doing everything up, up on my own power. Mm -hmm. Come on, what now? And you will see how God's going to break you down real That's quick. Right. That's right. right. That's right. Because God's going to break you back down when you must go back to seek His face. Mm -hmm. Right. When you must humble your way. Yeah. Right. When you got to cry out to him. Yes. Yeah. Well, I was doing this, and believe me, I seen a lot of people who who went up. <laughs> and within, they took them 30 years to build it up, but within overnight, they went right back down. Because they forgot about God was their source. That's right. Greed, right, 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 right. pride, and selfishness. That's good. Oh, so yeah, always yeah. me, God oh, yeah. is your source. Yes. How is this country brought up on? How is this country brought up on? What's this country brought up on? The word. Yeah. Trust in God we trust. Amen. Now we're taking things out of what? Prayer out of the, the, out of the world. We've been doing a lot of stuff that don't have nothing to do. They're trying to take a lot of stuff off the dollar bill now. Yes, that's right. And God said, you turn away. And now look at what's going on with this country now. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. What's going on now in the United States? Mm -hmm. Is why the body of Christ is where it's at now. Mm -hmm. well, because the, the body of Christ is falling out of whatever's, whatever's going on in the United States now. Mm -hmm. We're following suit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want a 501c3, so I must yeah. do this and do that. Mm -hmm. Everybody know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talk about it. Well, I need to keep my 501 status, so I need to make sure I can marry this and marry that and do this and mm -hmm. do that. Right. Uh, so do you really need your 501c3 mm -hmm. to compromise what you believe? Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. A lot of us have a 501c threes to get a lot of this money. That's right. So I mean, we went back to money being our source and not God yeah, our that's source. Right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yeah, check that's that out. Check, right. on, check on. Check what Mammoth is. Come on. That's definitely why where the church is at. Church is in Mammoth right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. My God. And, and, but we speaking. We saying. Well, what are we saying? We saying God's going to bless. God ain't going to bless us until we get out of foolishness. That's right. Amen. You don't want to be in the middle of no foolish. How come the, how come the body of Christ now, how, we, we keep talking about the, the, the wealth is laid up for the <laughs> just, <laughs> and we ain't ready for it. Mm -hmm. that's, why, that's why the money keep getting into their hands. Come on, Father. The money's in their hands right. because right. we ain't ready for it. Right. Because, because we go in with pride. Mm. What? For the money. Right. Well, God, I did this. God gave me my, I got my education. I did this. I did that. You forgot about God was the equation of why you got it. That's so true. Thank you. Get on the world. Thank you. 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 Then he says, then he will appear. That's yeah, right. Yes, That's right. Hallelujah. He won't appear until you do those things. Yeah. And yeah. he will forgive you of all your all sins. Your sins. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then he will make America great again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Good yeah. word. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. good. He yeah. want to make America great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only that. God can make America great. That's right. Hallelujah. Right. Right. Men right. can't make America great. Right. Only God. Hallelujah. Right. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Right. Thank you, Lord. He says you call up on whose name? His name. His name. His name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, Pastor. So our conclusion is yeah. you must hear God's voice. Hear God's voice. You must hear God's voice. That's right. You must expect him to lead the spirit of God. Come on. You must learn to listen in the inward witness. Come on. That's Don't right. wait on the spectacular and miss the supernatural. Do not. That's Do not. Expect to lead to be, I mean, expect to be led by the spirit of God. Amen. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Confession Amen. must be followed by repentance. That's Amen. right. Amen. That's good. Right. So how many times did you confess something 
and then turn around and do it again next week. Yeah. yeah. Or the next night. Or the next month. <laughs> oh, oh, but, but a lot of times that's what happens, right? We do that. Okay, you know, just one more time, you know. Oh, it just happened. I can do it again. I can that's do it again. Lord, if you just get me through it this one time, mm. I promise you I'm going to do it again. If I just can't, I won't. Oh, yeah. I promise. Yeah. And then as soon as you get out, you go back. That's not being repentant. Right. If you're confessing that you know what, I'm seeking your face and I know that this is something I need to turn away from because that's what true repentance is. It's not just saying I'm sorry for doing it, yeah. but then turn around and do it again. Yeah. True repentance is don't do it again. Right. And don't be saying, okay, God, if you deliver me now, I promise I'll do my best to try not to do it again. No. <laughs> I won't do it again. I'm not going to do it again. Put some things in place so you won't do it again. Amen. Do some accountability. What I had to do, because I'm a tip. Look, I always tell y'all about me, right? Sex was one of my things. I was like, hmm. I had to have an accountability partner to tell me, Amen. no, if he calls, you do not answer the phone. Right. Because you can't handle it on your own. Right. If he calls and you think it, you going to answer the phone, he's going to come over, you're going to do it again. Right. right. That's right. But then I want, I, I'm saying, oh, but I, I eventually I want to be married again. Well, sometimes, and you know, sometimes it works up. I, I, I ain't going to say what I was getting ready to say, Lord Jesus. Sometimes you try it before you buy it and you still buy it. Okay? Right. <laughs> but sometimes you don't. Sometimes they just try and decide they don't want to buy it. Okay? So I'm just saying. Because I want to you know, that's the thing. That's why the, that's why the Lord says that we shouldn't have sex before marriage. Right. Because you can't miss what you never had. Right. And if you have something to compare it to, then you're going to be comparing it, and you're going to think you need to get some before you get married because you want to make sure they work what they work it with. Okay. So what we have to do is get some accountability going in our lives and say, you know what, Lord, I asked you, and I know that you're going to give me somebody to know what they work it with and how to work with. And turn her from the evil way.
we're going to see what God's going to do in our lives before this year is over with. Yeah. Yeah. If we're believing God for 300 people, God's going to do it expediently, abundantly, and above all we can ask or think. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to yeah. do it. Yeah. We said 300 by the end of 2020. Now, the one said we have radical faith. It yeah. may come before yeah. uh, December 2020. Yeah. Look, look, look right now. We, almost, we already have half of that right now. Yeah. We're already growing already. Without even having a group, we've been, we been stepping forth in what we, what we believe. Right. We're putting our faith into action. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So how many people say that do you want to be a part of this remnant? Amen. 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 Who want to be a part of this remnant? Amen. Hallelujah. Mama Joyce, I need you to come up. Hallelujah. Everybody who says they want to be a part of this ring, I don't care if you're online or this, in this church, I need you to come up forth now. I need you to come up forth now. Don't Hallelujah. think about it, just come, come forth now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Put the microphone at. Miss Blue. Anybody want to be a part of Remnant? Mama Joyce want to lead us in prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
let you figure it out. I'm trying to do it all things in my head. I said, God, you know what? You figure it out. I'm tired of trying to figure it out. Yeah. God, you figure it out. You yeah. changed my heart. You changed my life. You changed who I am. So let God do it. And then as you figure and then let God do it. Amen. So as that, 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 that salvation has been, just to say, God, what do I need to do now to, to what do I need now to do to uh, bring to, 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 to come to come and get saved? Thank you, Lord. The next one is, you know what, God? I need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is just another gift that God gives you. It's like we talked about last week. You, you don't get the message, the message from last week. But it's basically like the, a, a topping on the cake. You have the cake, but then it's just the topping on it, the, the, the filling of it. Just say, God, you know what? Give me some of that. Give me some of that good dessert that's on your life. God, enhance what I have on my life. Enhance it. That's what the gift of the Holy Spirit is. And God can give you that. Amen. Then you say, you know what? I like what y'all doing here, Pastor Allen Noel. I love when I walked into the church, I got a good hug. When I walked into the church, people greeted and greeted me. When y'all did y'all walk, people came in and hugged me and loved on me. I like what I I like what I I like what I'm seeing and feeling here at I am church. You know what? I like to be a, a part of that ministry. But you know what? But, but, but we have a membership class where you can get more details. But you know what? Just come and just check it out. Just see what just see what we about here at I am. I guarantee you. You won't say no to the situation. I gotta tell people, if you sit down in my chair long enough, I guarantee you, you'll be convinced that this is where you're supposed to be. We will partner with you, we'll love on you, and we'll grow together as a family. Amen. So if you'd like to be a part of this I Am Church family, go ahead and raise your hand, and you can also stand up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.
and you putting something on that, you're naming your tithe, you're naming your, well, your tithe you're going to do, but you're naming your offering, you can go to God and say, you know what, God, you said prove me. Okay, I'm Come calling on. you out on it. Don't be disrespectful. It's not disrespectful to do that. Okay, amen. I'm disrespectful. And then it says, if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be enough room to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake, and ye shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. That's, that means if somebody, if God is already in somebody's ear to give you a check, it will not destroy the fruit of your ground. So when people try to give you something, the devil won't be able to cancel it out in their head. They're going to still write the check in the name of Jesus. And not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time of the field, said the Lord of hosts. Amen. So, amen. So, I know y'all already got all that out and all that. Y'all ready to go? Yes. Yes, amen. Make Hallelujah. sure your name, your number, and your address is on your envelope because that's how we're going to uh, correspond with you, amen? amen. Make sure that's how we're going to correspond with you. Also, while, while we were in service, you may have received, if you use a part of our telephone system, you should have received a text. You can also click on those links or you can text to those links. People online, you can look at online, you can click on that also, amen? Amen. 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 So if you can go and stand, we're going to do our confession, amen? We're going to do our confession. We got a confession because we're going to start standing on the word. We're going to start standing on the word. Hallelujah. All right, everybody ready? Ready. Heavenly Father, I profess this day unto you that we have come into the land that you have provided for us. As I give to the kingdom of God, with my tithes, with my tithes offerings, 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 first fruits, first fruits and, gifts of love, and gifts of love, I know the windows of heaven, I know the windows of heaven, blessings are open for me. I am now blessed, I am now blessed to be a blessing, to be a blessing with all my financial breakthroughs, with all my financial breakthroughs, manifestation in my life in the body of Christ, manifestation in the body of Christ. I live in daily expectations, I live in daily expectations of exceptional life, of exceptional life. I confess, I confess unsuspecting people, unsuspecting people to go out of their way, go out of their way to use their power, to use their power and ability, and ability to help me. To help me. I believe. I believe I receive, I receive creative wisdom, creative wisdom insight, insight, insight opportunities, opportunities for my life. For my life. My family, my family, my business, my business, and my ministry. And my ministry. This is my confession of faith. This is my confession of faith. According to your word. According to your word. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Right, now we're gonna strap the devil inside his head with our gifts of love. Amen. Tithes and offerings. Now we're gonna raise it up. It's now time to receive our tithes and offerings. Hallelujah. 